Hey everybody, a quick one here for the uh, BMW X3. This is a 2008. This will cover a whole bunch of different cars. It's the DMTL uh, pump. It's the, uh, on the uh, fuel system, it stands for Diagnostic Module Tank Leakage or something like that. So, popped up with an error code and um, leads me to this pump. Uh, not too tough to replace, but I'll just show you really quickly um, what I've done, I'm down to the point where I've got it down out of the out of the car and i uh, going to put the new one on. I'll show you quickly here. Um, this is the, the part I got. Uh, Bosch got from uh, Rock Auto. What the heck? I'm an ordinary guy, so I guess I need suspenders and a, some coveralls to, to work on this. Anyway, a little pump here. Looks like this. And uh, we're going to be replacing that, so I will show you quickly here how to get to it. And I'm already down there at it, so we've got some these fancy BMW. Where are we? Get in here. These little uh, push pin ones, and as far as I know, all you can only way to get these things out is to poke the center pin out. I've got a case of uh, replacement ones, so I. I'll put new ones in, but you just pop a small screwdriver in the middle of that. Um, and then you got to use a little pry tool and, and pop them off. Um, so those are along here. Had to take the, uh, the fender trim off. So there's a few along, along here. You got to take the fender liner out. So there's a couple uh, plastic bolts there to, to remove. Now, this is the, the guy right here, right here with the pump on the top of that. The tricky part is I don't believe this hose comes off from from the from the evap tank. This is a they have a charcoal canister. Uh, this one does not come off. This one does but it's a fitting just like this one. This this one here you squeeze really hard on the on the ribbed edges there. And it opens it up and then you can pull it off after a lot of wiggling. Sometimes it helps to get a little screwdriver in there and just kind of pry it off carefully. You don't want to break it. <clears throat> so there's a couple 10 millimeters here holding on the bracket. And then there's a little slot there. It uh, slides in up there. Now the tricky part was uh, taking this top one off because they put it way up here. On the, on the other end of this, up here. Anyway, it's hard to get at and squeeze that. There it is, just up there. So here's the fuel filler line comes down to the tank. But just a little quick pointer. Got to squeeze this guy here and then this one on, on the tank. Take that off. There's a little electrical connection I got to remove here. And then... Uh, Replace the pump on here and slide everything back up. So That's just a quick little video here just to kind of show you just kind of the steps to take here fender liner um, Wheel trim off uh, It's not too tough uh, Supposedly You're supposed to be a mechanic to do it, but uh, there's that and you Guys have a good day. We will see you in the next one Hey, make sure you like and subscribe if you uh, subscribe, it really helps my little channel out. Have a good day.